welcome back again to HLB's Pre-Op Season 1 Division 2. Tonight, Gamer Syndicates will be battling against Ascension Esports, and I will be going through the lineup of Gamer Syndicate. First, we have Sakif, CPG Rage, Spark, Grave, Domi, and Excavator and Rahan on the subs. And on Ascension side, we have Frost, Shiro, Sonic Leo, Kozak, Carrie, Mio, and Frustration, and someone named Korib in sub. And tonight the battle is going to be on overpass the map we usually do not see playing oh my bad it's vertigo and yes uh, something something is wrong I'm, I'm not able to join the server i'm not sure why and i have mixed up with ascension's favorite map with vertigo never mind me forget about that and let me quickly join in to the server. Now, I think players have joined already and I'm not sure if, as I haven't joined in yet. And we will be waiting for the players to join and as me as well and hopefully you guys will be staying with us till then.
So we are back and it seems like the ninth round has been done already and in the flash nade and a smoke onto Shiva's pocket and a smoke and a molotov onto Ifa's and looks like they are all grouping into its A ramp and there we go. The sound cues are on. Since gamer syndicate my back already should know that they are rushing towards A and I think onto Raihan, almost down to 7 HP, and he is dead, not living anymore. Decon will be charging in, but Quicksilver takes him out, and a double kill for Quicksilver, taking out Shiro, and these are the most impactful kills, I would say, for the retake, and look at Ifas, trying to survive, but gets taken out by Domi through the smoke. Kozak with only a couple of frag, but never mind, Quicksilver and Domi will clean things up. And Domi, what is he doing, taking his teammate out? Once the defuse, really bad. And he is inviting to be killed in chat by his team. Like, never mind me. And going back to the second round, we have a Galil on the hands of Sonic Leo, a Mactan on Shiro. And the rest of the team check the fire. Right? They have already. M4. Thomas and MP9 on Gamer Syndicate side, fully equipped with utils, but one hit onto Quicksilver. Anyway, Sonic Leo opening things up gets take damage dealt, and he is down to 4 HP. But still, a man advantage is a man advantage, and Ascension still drives, and they are thinking to go back to, towards B and look at. Almost getting in, creeping in, but Kiyoshima will not let him. Decapitates his head, and it's the equal situation. Sonic Leo still down to 4 HP, and chunk, just a bit of damage with the AG grenade will be enough to take him down. But look at his position, he is going under the B stairs. The rest of the team is now regrouping. At least go for some execute and I'm not sure what they're planning to do everywhere is like finger of silence they're not giving any footsteps a boost coming in onto middle but look at the position of Quicksilver he is definitely Shiro Saki manages to take Tikon down but he falls into the tray of Quicksilver and Sonic Leo will be taken out instantly he falls the last man standing and I'm not sure if he has anything to do it's a 1 versus 3 for him just a smoke, nothing else, and a bomb. And I think he should be going for the safe, and he is, and he has no Kevlar. That will be the second round for Gamer Single. We are back again in the third round, and it's a full on eco for Ascension. But some of them have Keplars, never mind. And they are rushing in towards a ramp. Smoke's coming in, but Domi with the first frag takes down Kozak and the bomb. Why is he going for the plant? Raihan deals with the planter, and Dikon and Shiro with the frag consecutively, and gets. One of them, both of them, gets taken out though. Ifa's the last one standing again with a PU50. And no Kevlar and gets taken out by Rahan's MP9. That's third round on board for Gamer Syndicate. Ascension has to come back. The buy is on for Ascension. Mac 10 on to Ifa. Tommy takes a lot, bit of damage, Tikon as well, Sonic Leo as well, but no kills coming in initially.
things are rather slow-paced. Tension, Tommy turns away, but still manages to take a frag. A double for him. Shiro trades it out. Saki with a wonderful spray transfer. Double spray down takes both of Ascension's team uh, players actually, and Kozak again. Just a one man for Ascension. Takes down Quicksilver. Saki um, down to 20 HP, and Ryan and Kyoshima is nearly on the full health. But it's a one on three for Kozak. And somehow manages to take down Saki down to half HP. Kozak still moving forward, but the bomb. The bomb is in game is in the grass and Kozak almost getting the spray but no Raihan will deny. Both run on board for Gamer Syndicates. They are wrapping things up real quick. Ooh, a fast forward rush coming in towards middle with Tech 9, Mag 10s, and Deagles. Tommy takes a lot of damage. Oh, multi frags coming in, and Quicksilver with a double gets taken out though. It's a 3 on 2. Ryan and Kyoshima for Gamer Syndicate to the defense. Kyoshima good for 1, takes down 2, and he's not going for the reload. He will, alright, he will be going for it now. Kozak again, the last one. He's coming with a Tech 9 and Kyoshima. We'll take him down as well. 5-0. to zero. Game is Syndicate leading the scoreboard right now. The Ascension has to come back. And now, the full rifle bought for Ascension. And he plus seems like has, has a zilch in his pocket. Quick still over the first frag for Game is Syndicate taking down Sonic Leo and a fast ramp push coming in, Kozak almost getting the frag, but no, Raihan again survives. With only 20 HP, but gets taken out from the back, Shiro with a wonderful kill onto Sake. Quicksilver will be charging in, but nope. No frags gifted, Glass takes a lot of damage, but the nade does a bit more as well, he is burning. Gives a bit of damage onto Domi. But see from the last man standing, it's a 3 on 1 for him. For the clutch, and he takes down Quicksilver. Ooh, looking at the wrong side at the wrong moment, Kyoshima will be taking the advantage, takes him down, and it's a sixth round for Game of Syndicate. They are having a wonderful start. Ooh, Sonic there with a wonderful frag taking down Quicksilver. And that's a nice shot coming in. Chat the corn. <laughs> what a reckless shot on the Saki, but gets taken out by Domi. Domi will be peeking in, and that's the wrong time to swipe weapons. Rahan will be taking the trade, but it's a 3 on 2. And they nearly have an open B site with only a one man defense from CT. Rahan will be good for one. Will he go for the second? Molotov's out, and he's going for the second and takes one out as well. It's a one on two for Kozak. This is not how it should have ended. Kozak has to take this clutch for his team. He does not expect Rahan there. And that will be the seventh round. King Syndicate is totally on four when Vertigo. Where somehow manages to take down Sonic Leo. That's an early crack coming in, but never mind. He fast will be making an equalizer. Ryan with a trade. Decon with another trade. Takes down Ryan. It's a 3 on 3. And what a wonderful crack coming from Shiro's rifle. Decapitating Tommy's head. And that's a spray coming in from Epaz, but misses. Kyoshima will be dealing with Decon. Shiro and Epaz both are down to half HP respectively. And look at Shiro, he has caught Kyoshima with a grenade on hand and that's the last man standing Quicksilver who bought the first blood.
Und gehen wir jetzt in die Get Side. And Quicksilver is kind of now in a dilemma. He should have, he knows that one of them has crossed train, but where? And there goes the bomb, he passes down, but Shiro with a flank takes him down. That's the first round on board for Ascension, and I think they should be more confident from now on. And an AWP has been recovered as well. I'm not sure what kind of buy is Gamer Syndicate planning on, but Kiyoshima has an M4, rest of the team just some pistols. And why wow, the double kill with his P250? Now that's absurd. Dealing this much damage with just a pistol and against a full equipped enemy, but quick, what was that? Takes down the only possible with a wanted trade, and now it's one on two for Kiyoshima. I'm not sure if he's thinking on going for it. He does have an M4. Ooh, he takes down the upper Sonic Leo. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one for him. And e is down to half HP. Not going to be peaking. And Kiyoshima will be charging in. And I'm not sure why did e even peak. He did not have a cap kit. This would have been a sentence round if e was known that he should not have peaked. I'm not sure why he went wide. He could have escaped. Five AKs on that sanction side and, and off onto Quicksilver's hand and you can get Kiyoshima. Takes down Gozak but gets traded out in the process by T Con and it's a 4 on 4. Saki one man standing up. Ooh! Sunmo manages to find Sonic Leo. Shiro with a frag but gets traded out by Saki. He is down to 20 HP so as Dummy. But it's a 1 on 3 for Ifaz and I doubt how much he can manage from here. The up will up of Quicksilver will be holding a very tight angle. Ifaz manages to take out Tommy the upper now it's Quicksilver and Saki to hold the site. Fa still has the bomb, still expects a lurker coming in from the back, but little does he know that two of them two of the gamer syndicate players are right now holding a bomb. I mean holding a side. He this kill should have been a clean one, but never mind. He did get safe, but Quicksilver will deny him. Takes a chunk of damage, but never mind. So manages to take nine round for gamer syndicate. And they are leading the scoreboard with 1 to 9 points. A fast pace mid push coming in from Ascension side, but there. Oh, trades coming in here and there. Domi with a double frag. Yoshima trades. Con. But that was a witch spray by E Fast. Ryan will be taking the advantage as Saki will be the team of crew taking the last man Sonic Leo down. 10 to 1 favoring gamer syndicate and this is this seems like their home map and the way they're playing they're actually making it seem so easy. Another ray push coming in from Ascent and they are already inside but Domi, what a spray down coming in for both of the both of, taking both frags but Kozak with a triple on the other side gets taken out by Kyoshima but it's a one on one for Shiro and Quicksilver.
Quicksilver with the orb decides to swap back to his P250 anytime he scopes his position will be given out but he decides not to and Chiro is looking towards the right angle and <laughs> what a timing that was for Quicksilver and it favored as well I can't believe that moment Sonic Leo turned around it seemed like the end almost he could have won it if he was looking at the position he was looking for but it's all about the timing in CS. Okay, and the first Prax again goes on to Gamer Syndicate's favor, but here will be the one with the equalizer. Mid press coming in, but Saki with a blind kill taking Tikon down. Trades coming in here and there, Raihan and Kyoshima. Sonic Leo, the last man standing for Ascension right now, and I'm not sure how much he might just be able to do. Yoshima will be dealing with him and it's the 12th round on board for Ascension. And I've had Gamer Syndicate. I am quite confused tonight. I'm not sure what I even saying. Ascension has to come up by now because they just had one round on their on, on this T side and that's not quite good. I'm not sure what is going wrong, but they should take a time out and discuss among themselves. Like the map is not quite favoring Ascension and they are not happy about it. I'm not sure why they did not ban it. Anyways. Kozak with a wonderful kill taking down Raihan. Tikon with the assist but Tommy with a double frag. Takes, take, it's taken out by Shiro and Sakit. Deals with him and Kyoshima with the last kill. That's 13 round for Gamer Syndicates. Ascension somehow they have to come up, but they are not taking any time out. I'm not sure. Did they even take any time out? I don't think so. The con seems to be AFK, I'm not sure why. I think he hates the map that much that he decides to go AFK anyways. A big press coming in, what a collateral from Quicksilver to the smoke, now that's quite amazing to watch. And Quicksilver with the third. Last two frags available and Saki will be taking one of them. And Ifaz gets taken out by Kiyoshima, 14 to 1 gamer syndicate with a dominating half. And I'm not sure how much Ascension will be able to do from the other side, in CT side actually. Because it seems like they are not being favored for some reason and the map it is not one of theirs and tonight is not theirs as well. Anyways, if you don't like the map, just ban it. A fast pace B press coming in and Quicksilver with a wonderful burst fire kill onto Sonic Leo and he is aggressing, not stopping, gets another. Will this be his frag as well? I'm not sure. The game is going to have the proper B side Tikon with a wonderful shot onto Quicksilver's face. Kiyoshima will be dealing with him. Kozak, the last man standing, takes down Raihan but gets taken out by Kiyoshima. <clears throat> 15 round for Gamer Syndicate and this somewhat makes me feel like a really fast fast match coming up for them and we haven't seen gamers in this side of gamers syndicate since the last time they were having some connection issues i think it was gamers syndicate right i think anyways mac 10 a couple of mac 10 couple of galils and an ak for gamers syndicate and 
shotguns, MP9s, UMPs, but never mind. SMDs are quite better. Ipas takes down Kiyoshima, Domi trades him out. The trades and frags coming here and there, but Ascension round coming as well. Second round on board for Ascension. They are quite far away for overtime, but shouldn't lose hope. Um, Poliko coming for Kimmich and he gets side, they're only going for clocks. Definitely not planning to win, they are just going for the bomb plan, but if this somehow turns around to be Gamer Syndicate's round, I, that, that would be amazing to go with a wonderful frag taking such it. And Sonic Leo will be taken down out by Clock of Quicksilver. They're expressing towards speed, Quicksilver misses his flash, but Sonic Kyo's nade would not be missing. Takes him down. He Yoshin with a frag onto Tikon gets taken out by the past third round on board for Ascension. The take 9 buys coming in for Gamer Syndicates and a fast pace B rush as well. Smokes out. Molly has been put down, but Kozak with a wonderful double gets taken out by Saki. Kyoshima will be trading out Shiro. And it's a 3 on 2, but just put a little onto Kyoshima's hand. That nade will do all the work for Ipaz. Takes down Kyoshima and Domi, the last man standing. He is on a marathon run towards A, but. Decides to go for a walk right now. This will be a quite difficult position for him to pass. Tommy will be taken out by Tikon Salt. Ooh, a blind kill coming on Tikhon's side. And he will be falling back with that kill. Yes, that's a good decision. Not being greedy with the up and the smoke will keep the thieves at bay. Kozak with a nice frag onto Domi through the wooden panel. Kozak should be falling back. He's down to 13 HP. And he's still brave enough for another frag, and he does take one more. Takes down Kyoshima. He's a pretty ballsy move that he's making. So keep lurking around a ramp, trying to get some information, maybe a frag as well. And Brown as well. But will they check Sandbag? If Fast is sitting there patiently. If a sound cue comes out by mistake, never mind the smoke is going to give up his position. But look at Ryan, he is aware of it. But Sonic there will be training the The bomb plant will be going in favor of Gamer Syndicate, but not the round. Sonic Leo will be taking the fifth round. I mean ensuring the fifth round for Ascension Esports. Gamer Syndicate could have gone for a Mac 10 force, but they decide not to. Just take knights. And that's a good Molotov on the ramp. There's a bit of damage. And they are in already in A side. And Tikon will be taking the first blood. It passed with a blind frag onto Sakib Sonic here with another frag as well. It was just jumping, trying to deny the bomb. But no. Ooh, what a tap by Rahan. 
Quicksilver. Oh, what a no scope coming in for Quicksilver, and this this just might be it. Is the bomb being defused? No. Kozak slowly walking in towards Quicksilver's crosshair, and that will be GGWP. 16 to 5 Gamer Syndicate. We will be taking this map and the match. Oh, Sakif. <coughs> yes, yes. He got more hacks with my. Yeah, the chaos back. I would like to say. Yeah, feeling pretty good right now. I'm really curious because Vertigo is a map that I usually shop team kill the Jana airport core still, even though he mapped only in the very competitive pool area. But to be honest, we are actually thinking of playing Vertigo because. Uh, in the last couple of tournaments, we played Vertigo, and uh, like in the Oras tournament, we played Vertigo against uh, Insomnias, and we did uh, not too good, but uh, like it's uh, not bad either. So we're thinking of uh, playing something unusual, and uh, I guess Nainlar Bai is also happy that we are not playing Inferno. <laughs> that is a really good choice, playing an unusual map, and. This seems like you have a very strong positioning. I mean, in the perspective of defense, the defense was so solid that Ascension just could not push in. And how did you practice for your defense? I mean, it's only defense that the shop team made to trade, cut the hobby, or pick cut the hobby. Each thing is going to manage. Cut the hobby. What is it? Well, we are actually doing the basic things. Like we are keep uh, keeping the molly with ourselves when they are pushing. We are throwing the molly and nades, and we are counter flashing. These are all like basic things. We are not uh, not doing anything extra. Uh, all of our players played uh, really well. They did manage to. I mean, uh, they had some net issues, uh, packet loss and others, but uh, somehow they managed well. And uh, well, that uh, team uh, actually they played together and uh, for a lot of time. And I think that's the combination actually that uh, helped us in this match. Yes, and I, uh, I was almost uh, th that was incredible. I mean, I'm not uh, expecting that actually. He he can play that kind of play. He did before, but I was not expecting it right away. You know. Yes, so... it, it, the round it was. It seemed like it was just a force buy. You, yeah, you yeah. You guys were just rushing like you just. You guys just need a plant for the next. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are just thinking of getting the plant. We are not thinking of like winning the round, but. Uh, okay. I don't know what happened to him. He just uh, killed everybody in matter of seconds, I guess. Yes, that's a matter of seconds that decides Counter Strike momentum. And Quicksilver did an outstanding job from your team. And that last round that was really amazing coming from him. And thank you for joining us tonight. And hopefully, we will be seeing you again in another match. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you very much and congratulations to your win. And hopefully, you guys will be practicing more of these odd maps and we will be seeing some variation in HLB's tournaments. Thank you okay, very thank much. Thank you again, Hacky Smith and Miller Bai. And thank you all the viewers who have seen the match and keep us in your prayers. Thank you. Sure, thank you very much. And to all the viewers tonight, it was an amazing match coming from Gamer Syndicate. and. Uh, outstanding defense they just put out it was just amazing to watch and the end ending of quicksilver's finish and it, it was just amazing to watch especially in a match on vertigo that we do not really usually see thank you for thank you all for being here tonight and hopefully we will be back again tomorrow night at 11 30 p.m so stay tuned with hlb this is hacksmith signing off for tonight stay right